My final question is about your students. Um, you're, you're deputy dean, uh, you're a professor, you, you talk to them all the time. And again, going back to the, that all of the skills that we have learned in the past, and we, we talk about uh, numerical and, and, and verbal skills, but now we need multiple intelligences. We need a completely different set of rules of ethics and humanity and values, and particularly in the financial and economic world, because more and more as AI is becoming stronger, this is becoming so critical. How do you teach ethics to your students? So um, that's an incredibly important issue, and so one of the things that um, uh, that we've really developed at uh, at, uh, at the business school mm -hmm. is our behavioral sciences area. Mm -hmm. And so, um, like for example, Richard Thaler just got the Nobel Prize a couple of a uh, couple of years ago, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, one of my colleagues and his colleagues is doing uh, some brilliant work on something called ethics by design. Mm -hmm. And so. Because we often think of, well, ethics is about a few bad apples, some people acting badly. And there are a few bad actors, yep. but that's not what goes wrong. When, mm -hmm. when firms do things that are, are really problematic, it could be a few bad people, but mm -hmm. there's something wrong with the structure of the institution. And so thinking about the incentives of the institution, thinking about the designs of institutions, of how you get more ethical behavior. There can be other exercises that are done, but it's really thinking very much about the design of the organization of its, itself. Because it's not just a few bad apples, it's the organization.